My boyfriend is mad because I tricked him into wearing panties. So my boyfriend was irritating me about a month ago and I thought it would be funny to make him wear panties and tease him a little. So I pulled out some of my boy short style panties and gave it to him. He was puzzled and so told him I bought him some underwear for when he stays over and he said well these look like panties. I told him no and that they were a special type of underwear for guys that girls can also wear called boy shorts and that he should try them on. He agreed and when he came out with them on I was going to start laughing and teasing him about it but he was actually really excited about them and said they were snug and comfortable. I also like how it made his butt look so I just kind of encouraged it. So fast forward to last week and he was very upset. He said he went shopping for underwear at Nordstrom and asked where he could get some boy shorts that were for men. Apparently it was pointed out to him that boy shorts are actually panties and then realized he has been wearing them for a month. He said he even changed in the gym a couple times wearing them and can never show his face back there. So yeah, he is still a little ticked off and embarrassed about it but does still like to wear them at home. So I guess in the long run it's a win-win situation. As a black man, I feel awkward when I have to walk past people at night. One of the things I love doing is going out at night for a stroll and just letting my thoughts sink in. It's kinda like walking meditation, if that makes sense. I always come back to reality when someone is in front of me. I usually walk slowly so it might feel strange or terrifying to see someone walking behind you like that so their feelings are valid. I understand why they would run or clinch their purses when I walk by and it's all cool. I once had an old lady scared who was scared shitless when she saw me because she was walking alone too. I reassured her that I'm not a criminal and I apologized for making her uncomfortable. Sometimes, I contemplate whether or not to just run past them or ask them if it's okay for me to walk past. I have started some pretty decent conversations that way and I made a couple of friends just by walking, lol. I just wished they wouldn't be so frightened anytime they see me. Have a lovely weekend y'all. Just thought of something, would walking with a girl help? Do women feel comfortable when they see the man following them, has a partner or would it just make it more suspicious? My brother sexually assaulted me and now I'm the black sheep of the family so I know that this can be a lot for some folks. And I'm sorry for the trigger warning. This post is truly for me to get it off of my chest because I'm really frustrated. Mobile, probably will be formatted wrong. Sorry again, this started back in 1995 when I was 3 years old. I had two older siblings at the time. We all were getting babysat by a friend of my father's. The shortest way I can put it is that my brother, the middle child, was taken fully advantage of by this individual. Since I was the youngest my brother uh, taught me things and took advantage of me not knowing any better. He was a child and didn't know what he was doing. This lasted for six years until I confessed to my mother. I knew it was bad, but being that young and innocent the first didn't know exactly how bad. She didn't believe me and told me that he was just wrestling rough. I didn't know no to explain it to her because I was ashamed in a lot of ways. When she asked my brother he denied everything. I let it go and just lived with it. My eldest brother caught us in the act once and lost his mind about it. He didn't know what to do himself at the time since things were rough, and he was young. He wasn't believed either. Years went by. I brought it up once or twice through my teenage years since I knew it was something that I still needed to work through. My father heard my concerns and was beside himself. Turns out that they knew all along that my brother was used by this guy. They learn after my brother told them. And because the guy was taken in by the authorities at the same time for a similar case with another family for the same reason. He's still in prison over it. Even more years went by, but at least I had a foundation to work on. To know why it happened. When I was 19 my cousin passed away from acute lymphoblastic leukemia. He was 17, fought for 5 years against it, and died a month before his 18th. The following Christmas I was a complete wreck. It was the first experience that I had of someone so close passing away, watching them suffer, and then seeing what it did to my family. 
During this holiday, the first time in a long time, the family gathered for an actual happy time. I took my brother aside to tell him that I remembered and that I needed therapy. I told him there were many things that I needed to work through in order to get my life together, and that unfortunately I would have to bring that aspect of our childhood up. He swore he had no memory of anything. He went and told my grandparents what I said, and my grandmother told me, you're horrible for bringing this up now during Christmas. They knew what happened back way when. Just scolded me for bad timing. Trust me, I get it, worst time for sure. I confess that I was a mess. More years went by. My middle child brother got married and had two baby girls. First grandchildren of our branch of the family. We all did our best to be happy. I was just newly 26 when my eldest brother passed away from pneumonia. It was a surprise for everyone, he acted tough and said it was just a cold when I would call him up to chat. I was across the county working at the time. I went back home to be with my father when I heard the news. My mother wasn't the best, so all of us three were closer to my dad. Horrible time. Side fact. His girlfriend was seven months pregnant at the time and vanished from our lives because she didn't want to remember what she witnessed. When my brother died and wanted to find a new father figure for my nephew. Long story, needs its own post. Shortly after we all found out that my dad had throat cancer. Usually an easy thing to fix with a 90% recovery rate, but the apple from the tree had to come from somewhere. I stayed with him, took him to and from appointments. Used up $24,000 on my credit card for him to have the retirement he should have had for his last few months. I watched him die in front of me. Another long story I won't get to hear. He died February 20, 2020. My middle child brother, his wife, and my two nieces were who I lived with for the next three months. I spent everything I had to take care of the past family matters and had debt. I had a supervisor job at a local pharmacy, but the pandemic just started. The first quarantine came and my hours were cut. I was scolded by them for needing alone time, not cleaning the entire house, and not taking over childcare from the daycare while they worked their jobs. I get needing to help, but I was sad and was still paying rent. Excuses, but I can't lie about how depressed I was. They kicked me to the streets. My best friend of 14 years helped me through everything. Found me a better therapist than I had, and lent me money to move for work. During my new therapy sessions I brought up the childhood abuse again. I was told to ask my brother about it. We still talked, we were the last in our family, it was really just my sister-in-law that found me useless. So? I asked him again. Bad bad bad. I get it that he doesn't want to remember. I get that him confessing might make him lose his wife and two daughters. So I really don't blame him for cutting ties. I miss him. Why the rest of my family has to drop me too? I don't really get it other than they're doing it for my nieces. I ran away. All I know is that I'm on my own. But hey, now I have one of the highest positions running a five-star resort on an island after working my way up. I've been here since that time and I'm dating a wonderful man. Things are looking up. Thanks for reading, if you did. Just writing this helped me out tons. My fiancé gave a guy a blowjob during her bachelorette party I'm more shocked than livid. My wife had her bachelorette party in a strip club while I was asleep. Around 2 a.m., I got a call from a close friend of hers telling me to check my messages. I opened it up and I had turn on the lights and wash my face and take my meds before watching the video again. She captioned the video, is this the woman you want to spend the rest of your life with? I was in denial. I know my fiancé and know she would never pull a prank on me like this. I kept watching the video over and over again and guys, it's her. Holy crap. How could she do this to me? I trusted her and this is what I got back. I'm thinking about calling off the wedding but I don't want to be so emotional. I also don't want her to know that I've seen the video because I feel it will affect our relationship in the long run. Maybe if I just act like it never happened, it would make things better okay, 
so my friend who sent the video told me if I don't break things off with my fiancé, she'll post the video. My hands are fucking tied now. I'll be holding off the wedding for now, I just need a good excuse. Yes, what my fiancé did was wrong but I don't want her to bear that scar for the rest of her life. I'll do what I think is best.